So it's that time again. It is new release time. Just got one in from Fragrance Net. Surprisingly, it was released on Fragrance Net before it was even released on any Macy's or anything like that, which never usually ever happens, especially because it's also at discounted prices. Uh, so again, this is a new release in May of two, uh, 2023, so this month. This is by Coach. It is Coach for Men Green. And yes, it was a tester, but who gives a shit? So without further ado, let's get it. <laughs> my great smelling dudes welcome back to my channel my name is randy as you guys know aka fragrance dude before we get into the video and the new release in 2023 make sure to like comment subscribe hit the bell follow me on instagram and tiktok at fragrance dude so that we can get straight into this as you guys already know i already pointed this out so this is a tester box it's not going to show you anything but honestly who really gives a crap about the box today we're going to be talking about a brand new fragrance from the House of Coach. This is Coach for Men Green. So you can see that bottle it looks really sexy. It looks just like all the other Coach for Men bottles. If you are not accustomed to the bottles, it has the Coach tag that you can either take off or leave on. Um, and then it, the normal Coach for Men is black with just a clear bottom. You have Coach Blue, which is black with a blue bottom. And then you have Coach uh, Platinum, which is a platinum version of this but there are hefty bottles, really nice glass. And then for the testers, it actually has the notes on the back, uh, which I didn't actually know the notes outside of Kiwi, and I think there was more online, but you can see there's also that. Uh, so I'm really excited because these fragrances usually release anywhere between, especially with the new price hikes, anywhere between like 90 to $140. Coach is usually on the lower end of that, so like 90 or 100 bucks. But with that said, um, one of my subscribers, I don't remember who it was, sent me a link saying, hey, guess what? Coach Green is on FragranceNet if you want to pick it up. So I picked it up. It was 47 bucks, and uh, I got expedited shipping, which ended up not actually happening. So they refunded me not only my shipping, but 20 bucks. So I ended up getting this, this fragrance for $27 total, which is actually pretty crazy. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about Coach for Men Green. I'm just gonna give you the three notes they have on the back of it, which this is my first impression, so normally don't give you notes, but since it's here, why not? Um, it says that the top note is Kiwi Accord, uh, heart note is Rosemary Essence, and the bottom is Crystal Moss. And it says it's a woody, fruity, green fragrance. So we are going to spray it on my hand here. And, wow. Oh, Coach is not letting us down again. Oh, and I'm wearing green today. Nice. Oh, so right off the top, you get a nice mixture of kiwi and citrus. There's like a little bit of a citrusy bergamot underneath it. But that kiwi is sweet. It is a little bit tart. It's green. It is in your face sweetness. It is really, really nice. Yeah, there's definitely a citrusy undertone. And then there's a little bit of that moss underneath it. But you know what I'm getting here, which I don't remember it being in the notes, but what I'm getting here is almost like an ambroxany effervescence. Uh, something like you would get, um, maybe it's cedar, like a brighter woods, uh, where you would get it like in the Coach for Mint or Aventus. It has that almost mossy, uh, slightly earthy, and then woods that provides this like sparkling effervescence with that citrus. The only difference is that you have this really nice kiwi note that is over top of the entire fragrance. So the way that you can really best describe this opening, yeah, it's getting even more into that. It has that semi-thickness that you get from the Coach for Men line. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It's almost like that fruity thickness. Um, but so it's that kiwi over top of it again it is sweet it is fruity it is a little bit green and then it has this almost effervescent woods underneath it uh, again it could be in broxen cedar something like that um, it's not coming off to me as one way or another but the best way again to describe it is if you took a kiwi heavy fragrance that's doing the kiwi very nicely here and mix it with something 
like Coach for Men. I think Newt said it was like Coach for Men. And then there's also something like Aventus, um, where it's that undertoning nuance. So it's nothing that's crazy like them. It's just giving off that woody vibe that you get from them. It's really, really nice. What I'm going to do is instead of sitting here smelling, telling, smelling, telling, I'm going to be back in about 25, 30 minutes, just like I do on every first impression. Let it sit, get to the dry down, see what we get from it, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so we are back here, and it's been about 45 minutes that I sat here with Coach for Men Green because the fragrance didn't really change that much for the first, like, half hour, so I wanted to get to a point where at least the performance or something changed. And so uh, Coach for Men Green, as of right now, is a must-buy at that price that I got it for, which, again, $47. Bucks. Um, if you could find it on FragranceNet, buy that. I wouldn't buy it in stores like Macy's or anything like that. It's still a Coach for Men. And so after about two to three months of it for fully being released in stores, you'll see it on discounters. It'll come back to fragrance net. Um, just it's definitely worth the coach for men discounter prices for sure. So again, this starts out with that really nice, uh, juicy green kiwi that is sweet. It almost has a little bit of tartness from the bergamot that's underneath it. And then as you, um, are sitting there, you're thinking to yourself, there's something that reminds me of like the Aventus kind of coach for men woods, whether it's like an Ambroxan or Cedar, it's a bright, almost effervescence that it gives to the, like a sparklingness to that, that it gives to the Kiwi and that citrus that's in there. And it's not really super woody. The woods more of a nuance, but it just provides this like sparkling effervescence to that kiwi that sweetness it's really really nice um and then as you get your way further there's a little bit of musk and then so at about a half hour i didn't notice much of a change at about a half hour you can notice that that kiwi starts to dissipate um, it starts to become more of a blend instead of being the main prominent part of the fragrance it tends to blend itself into the fragrance kind of like the original coach for men how in the opening you can notice the pineapple stuff like that um, but then as you get about a half hour in, it just becomes more of a fruity, woody, musky style fragrance that is just a really nice blended, generic, but very good random pull style fragrance. This one didn't change, uh, doesn't change too much and it's very similar to that as far as what type of fragrance it is. Um, so I'd say the opening for me is probably an 8, uh, 7.58. It, it's a really good opening, really good Coach for Men random pull opening. This isn't one that you're going to say, oh, I want to pull this over other things in my collection like all the time. This is one that if you're running to the store, you're running errands, you just have something that you want to put on for a few hours. Coach for Men Green is really nice. I would say the seasons, at least based on what I'm smelling, spring, summer, fall, but you could probably wear it any season. I don't think it would do too well in the really cold weather, but um, this would be the perfect season for it because that kiwi gives off like that green um, fruitiness. You have some citrus under it, a bright sparkling woods, and then again, you get some musk. And then further into the dry down, right before I got to this point in the video, um, you, you get a little bit of an oak moss accord coming in, which provides even more of that Aventus style to it. So just imagine this, if you took Coach for Men and you made the prominent note in it, a nice green fruity kiwi, and it's really well done. And then you just mix that together with that Aventus style woods. Then as you get to the dry down, add in a little bit of oak moss and then have this fruity wood a woody musky mixture that is exactly what this fragrance does it is very nice it is a nice change to the line it's not something that i've smelled before um, in the first half hour once you get further in it does remind you of this and this and this but that kiwi portion in it is definitely going to make you guys go "Ooh." The only drawback is, is just like any other coach for men, like I said, this isn't going to go anywhere past a random pool, which is why you wouldn't pay full retail prices for it because it starts out about moderate to a little bit between moderate and above average, and it quickly starts to dissipate and become that coach for men. It seems like it's going to be a four hour, five hour scent at max, which to me, I don't care. Again, this is going to be a nice random pool, nice day out. Um, if you're going out in the garden, whatever you're doing, this is a really nice random pool for that. 
but after about 45 minutes, it's more of a personal bubble already. So I wouldn't be surprised if in about two hours this became a skin scent and in about four hours it would start to dissipate completely. I wouldn't be surprised by that, but again, um, I'm gonna give some full wears on it. I think that's really nice. I'm gonna actually wear it as my scent of the day today, spray it a hundred times just in case. Um, but, oh, that's really nice. The opening is so beautiful. It definitely reminds you, hey, I'm a coach for men, but it has almost this, you would know this kiwi, almost sour tartness in the opening that comes off very almost sweet and sour, has a little green tinge to it. That kiwi is beautiful, really, really beautiful. I like the way that this is done. Um, I might actually give it an eight. Like right now, at least the opening, the opening is definitely an eight. Yeah, I like that a lot. The kiwi is super nice. It almost smells like it has a little bit of a green apple edge to it too. Yeah, like almost like a sour apple gummy bear or something like that. That's really nice. I like that. So anyway, um, hopefully they, some of you guys have got this in and tried it out. Uh, again, just to summarize it, I'm not going to keep you guys here all day. It is a really nice kiwi in the opening mixed with an undertoning citrus. It has a little bit of a green apple vibe now that I'm smelling it and I sprayed it a bunch. And then it has that nice clean effervescent woods. Whether it's ambrox and cedar, I don't know. Uh, it's just undertoning. And then as you get further into the fragrance, you get some musk pulling in. That fruitiness tends to kind of absorb into the woods and the musk. And then you have an undertoning uh, nuance of moss. There's not really anything else going on with the fragrance. It's pretty linear, at least for the first 45 minutes. But again, come back to my video in about two weeks and I'll do a full review of Coach for Men Green, which right now I think is probably in my top five releases of the year. But that's not saying much because this year has been very average. But as far as openings, that is probably one of my favorite first impressions of the year. It's just really nice, but for a random pull fragrance. Uh, it's nothing wowing, but it's just really nice. But thank you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one. Peace out.